long time no see i feel like i have taken january off to like re focus my whole everything. January I really feel like was a 180 turnaround from how I was feeling in um, December and before. So yeah it's February now. <laughs> There's lots of changes to the apartment that I am going to show now. There's lots of changes to work. Right now, I'm going to work every single day. We're in a, a lockdown, but I'm going to work every day because there is key worker and vulnerable students still going into school, so I'm with those kids all day. There's not much like to talk about work. Like I just kind of sit there and supervise them on Google Classroom, and if they have a question, I help, but that's about it. I have a lot of housework to do today, so my weekends are very much busy. I have to make my bed. I have a bed frame, so that is so exciting. Dishes I have to put away, I have dishes I have to do, I have to vacuum, I have to break down the boxes for that the bed frame came in because they are literally taking up the entire other room so I'm going to break them down and I'm slowly taking them out because they won't all fit in one one week's worth of recycling so I can make my bed and then um show you what my bed looks like I also have laundry to put away um what else do I have to do Really just vacuuming. I should take the recycling out. This is my new bed. And obviously for Instagram, this plant actually isn't here, but it's just this headboard. And then it has a pretty good clearance for underneath. And there's no bottom bit so yeah we're still working on a night table and then what I'm thinking is because this comes out and then there's just this room here to put sh a shelf or something up here and then use down here for storage or whatever also this is I said I think I mentioned this is a habitat bed I got it from Argos on sale. It's not on sale anymore, but I did get it on sale. I think the bed frame was $2.79. These are the boxes that I have to break down. Maybe it doesn't look like it's taking up a lot of space, but it's taking up a lot of space. Uh, what I'm thinking is, so with the bed, obviously I have a whole bunch of styrofoam. I have this huge piece of styrofoam that is not broken. So what I was thinking is if I painted it and hung it up on the wall in the main room, then it would add some kind of color because it is quite big and it is quite light. So I could just use like command strips or something to, to put it on the wall. What I was also thinking is I have my big Canadian flag and I was thinking of hanging it behind right here because it's very white in here as well. There's a change in here though. Carpet from the kitchen. Put it in here to kind of like insulate some of the heat and also when I have a shower I have this bath mat goes here so when I get out I'm on a bath mat and then I can just hop over to this one and it, you don't get the floor as wet as much. <laughs> I guess. Those are kind of all of the changes that have happened or plans that potentially might happen. I'm going to probably change into some comfortable clothes and vacuum and put the laundry away and everything. I can show you my outfit. It's not super exciting. I just had my um, hair up in a pony. I have this really long, it's a t-shirt, t-shirt on, um, I think it's like Jack Jones, I don't know, and then um, 
I have the Levi's jean flannel on and then just some leggings and socks over my leggings. I did wear Vans today to work, which is we're not allowed to wear running shoes or sneakers or trainers or whatever you want to call them. But my Timberlands were soaked because we went to the ocean yesterday and like the tide was was bad. <laughs> well, it was very, very wet. Good afternoon. I've literally just gone from work. Today's not gonna be super eventful. I feel like a lot of the upcoming vlogs won't be. I'm gonna just show you my outfit. Um, another thing is I have to call the council because they've... So when I moved in, the sheet of paper that my landlords gave me would said the council was going to get into contact with me, I guess, because it's a new build. Literally, I do not know because I obviously am not from here. I left the council tax thinking the council's gonna get in contact with me. No, the council's not gonna get in contact with me. I got my landlord to contact them and fill out the form for me in December for council tax because I obviously have an outstanding balance. So they've sent me a bill for like almost 700 pounds which is wrong because I live alone, so I get a discount. So I've applied for that discount, but the date to pay that 600 is the 15th. I have to, I've, I've checked last night online that I got my request for my discount, so they have and they're processing it, but it takes up to six weeks to process. And my date to pay is the 15th. So I'm going to, probably not today, I will try to find the number today. I'm going to call them and say, hello, this is wrong. Do I have to pay it? And are you going to give me back the difference? Or like, I can't even afford to pay this anyway. So I'm going to do that. I also have to clean my Timberland boots because they are full of sand but I don't know if I'm gonna do that today really I just want to sit down and never get up I also have to cook some type of dinner because I have a whole bunch of uh, vegetables and stuff that need to be used so I was thinking I could do um, a pasta bake or something so my um, outfit this plaid shirt that I wore like this um, it is from I don't know what it's called Manchester Cathedral used clothes sale. Don't know. And then I just have some leggings and high socks. <laughs> and my hair in a bun. These are my shoes that are literally, first of all, they're still soaked. I don't know how they're gonna like dry, to be honest, but they're just like gross basically. That's what's happening. Don't know how much I'm gonna vlog today, if this is just gonna be it. Oh, also, I broke down all the boxes and it actually looks. Freaks me out because I haven't seen it like this in so long. So much bigger again in here. Obviously these are all the boxes um, that I'm gonna take out slowly. I didn't vlog yesterday. I've just gotten home from work. I have to show you this mess that is my broken my broken bed so my bed is broken what's happened this is the third time it's broken i think the reason is because it's on hard floor it moves and that causes the support these support beams that go like they go under this one support beam that's caused them to bend and they've bent so the screws are completely in there. I'm obviously going to message Argos and say, I wanna keep the bed you know, on Saturday to get like some kind of better wood than this to fix it. But what I'm thinking is, 
So I have to do that. I have to message our boss. I do want to keep it because it's the only bed that I have found that I like. So I don't want to send it back and then just not have a bed. I have to do that. I'm going to look up the council phone number and then I think I'll muster up some courage tomorrow at work and call them at work instead of doing it now because I feel like... But what I think I'm going to do tonight is because I don't want to sleep on the floor again. Take these screws out. I'm going to flip this this way and I'm going to screw in it this way. And then on Saturday we'll fix it properly. So we're going to buy, try to find like square piece of wood I guess like with a bigger bottom that kind of goes up into like a triangle but like it's obviously cut off. That's what I'm thinking and just get three of those. Yeah and I'm also going to get some rubber furniture stoppers to put on the actual legs. So I've built the bed with underneath. There is just books along the support beams, mainly this one and this one because the screws are popping out of those two. That's just kind of there so it doesn't scratch the floor. I'm going to put the mattress back on and I don't know, make some food, change out of these clothes. I have to call my mom. I don't want to be an adult anymore. It's too hard. I have 5% battery, so um, this is gonna be very quick. Today I went to work, obviously just gotten home. I've started doing stuff. I'm going to vacuum really, really quickly. I have a bunch of dishes to do. I'm gonna have a shower. I was gonna go grocery shopping, but I just think tomorrow. So I'm going to do my dishes. I'm going to vacuum my bedroom really really fast. Might have a load of laundry to put on. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner because I like don't really have any food. I'm going to have a shower. I don't know if I said that. And I'm just going to chill out. And I'm really sorry that this vlog is probably going to be really bad. Honestly, I get home from work and I just, I don't want to do anything. I have to pay rent today as well. So that's always fun. I called the council today at work. I didn't call them. I web chatted them and I sorted that out. Messaged them and they said it's fine. You would do two installments. Um, the 15th of this month and the 15th of next month and then it will just be like normal. So I started that today. My battery is flashing at me now so I'm going to end this clip. I've just gotten in from work. Yeah? I have to put away some dishes. I have to do the dishes from this morning. I have a bunch of laundry. It's actually hanging up everywhere to put away. Don't know if I've shown this, but I bought some epoxy over the Christmas holidays, which I have, and I was waiting on wood slices to come in the mail, which finally arrived last week. I have them here drying on the floor. Here they all are. These, these are the ones that I can use that fit in the tray like they're not too thick for the tray and these are the ones that I can't use because they are too thick so I don't really know what I'm gonna do with these ones drying them out on the carpet here another thing that I think I'm going to try to start doing slash selling cross stitch magnets so I'm just doing all the designs for the ideas I have for that only because I'm almost done the blue jay that I'm making my mom for her birthday that was on the 30th of January. After I'm finished that I don't really have anything to make or do so I think I can try to do cross stitch magnets. I think tonight what I'm going to do is all of the designs for or some of the designs I started last night. Some of the designs ideas I have for those and making sure they're all sized properly. That's kind of it. I'm going to put away this laundry and these dishes and do the dishes and then probably get into bed. Looks very nice. Also, there should be a new 90 Day Fiance uploaded. Fingers crossed. It wasn't uploaded this morning. Fingers crossing that it's uploaded now. Hello. I've literally just gotten in. I was the first one out today because I just like to walk home by myself. Sometimes that doesn't happen. It was recycling day today, so someone brought my bin back in, which is really nice. But I have a whole bunch of stuff to get rid of, so slowly clearing this room back out um, of the what my bed came in so i'm gonna go take that out come back and get into comfortable clothes get on my phone because there's messages on there that i've just ignored 
because I was at work and I was cross stitching. Okay, hello. It's way after work now. Um, it's four o'clock. I have been putting together a cart on Amazon for cross stitch magnets, which I think I'm going to try. Uh, I think it's the most sensible thing to try to do. I've been working on these as prototypes that are for people just for free to see if it and to see if it works. A little Among Us guy, and then these are two things from Sailor Moon. I've just cut one out uh, because it, I think it was wrong. I didn't like the way that the thread was going, so I just cut it all out. I'm gonna redo it um, tonight, right now, actually. So I've, I've made a cart for that, so I need, I need to get little glass domes and magnets and glue. So that's what's in my cart now. I've just gone to close the window, actually, because it was really a uh, sunny and nice walking home, so I opened this window, and I've gone to look at this plant that I have, and it's full of spider mites. And I just want to cry. There's lots of spider mites on it. I have to deal with that because I don't want the plant to die and I don't want them in my house. I'm going to get them off. Yeah, I was just going to order those things for the cross stitch magnets and, and cross stitch. I have to do with these spider mites, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to, well, I'm going to order it first. I have to order my prescription as well and deal with these bugs. Literally crying.